नॉर्मली सोफीज आई है ओके थर्टीज एनी फोर्टी पीजीज फिफ्टीज पीजीज एंड फिफ्टीज फ्रेशीज साउथ ईस्ट एशिया सिंगापुर मलेशिया थाईलैंड कम्बोडिया जापान Any other any other country exotic places or something? That's it. <coughs> Nepal. <laughs> okay. So uh, regarding the flight booking, how many of you have booked your flights? Oh, okay. Uh, lots of them. So uh, okay. So you already know most of the fun days. so you can check the prices on make my trip go i be go clear trip yatra etc so uh, just compare just compare the prices and also check with a local travel agent because he might give you a better deal and uh, also make sure that uh, uh, you uh, whether you require a transit visa or not so for example uh, if i know about north america so if you are flying to let's say canada and your flight is via united states so you require a transit visa or if your if your flight is via some other country where you are staying for more than uh, i think 24 hours then you you, you will require a transit visa uh, do so, you have any information regarding germany i'm going to i'm going to canada through germany you're going to canada through germany yeah uh, no, i you don't yeah, yeah so you don't require transit visa for uh, with uh, okay what's your port what's the stop over port uh, i think it's uh, berlin berlin so yeah you will not require transit visa for that. berlin or frankfurt yeah so you will not require transit visa. so uh, just make sure uh, if you require a transit visa or not because if you land somewhere without a transit visa you will be in a big trouble uh, and yeah you have to uh, there is a completely different procedure for transit visa for example if you are going if your final port of destination is country a and you are transiting via country b you have to apply for visa of both country a and b so it's a pretty long and hectic process and you want definitely you want to avoid that so uh, for example if you are traveling to canada make sure that you don't go via united states why i mean not uh, the flight uh, i mean you are, uh, if you are landing in united states then you need a transit visa for that it's not your flight covering over united states so uh, yeah uh, regarding luggage so make sure that your luggage is through check in so uh, your uh, you you will get your uh, luggage at your final port of destination and you deliver your luggage at your uh, first port of destination which, which will be in india so if it is not through check in then you every time you will have to take out your luggage uh, go through the security check up again and it, it will be a very hectic process so um it, it would be better uh, if uh, if you go via travel agent if you have uh, many stop overs more if you have more than two stop overs it is highly recommended that you you know go via travel agent so he can he can arrange for a through check in luggage etc and also uh, check on the uh, Flight uh, website about the weight and size limit of the luggage. Uh, mostly, the weight limit per luggage would be around 23 kgs. And uh, if if you are traveling uh, very far, then you will be allowed. Uh, if you are traveling for a long time, you will be allowed uh, around uh, two bags of 23 kgs. So that will be 43 kg. But uh, even if one bag exceeds uh, the weight limit, then you will have to pay for that. And the charges are very high. Uh, by the way, please uh, feel free to interrupt me during the presentation if you have any questions. so okay so that was uh, regarding the luggage uh, you can also set your meal preferences so this was the mistake that i made uh, uh, while flying to canada so i i didn't select my meal preferences and uh, like uh, it I, it was it was very difficult for the flight attendants to get a vegetarian meal for me so you can easily do it uh, you can uh, do it via the flight website or you can ask your travel agent to do it for you so make sure that you set your meal preferences before leaving uh, 
if you are maybe if you are traveling to Japan etc., they might serve you something uh, very weird. So uh, make sure that you select Indian meal or vegetarian meal. Uh, stopover and connection time. So uh, yeah. So as I said, uh, if you are stopping over uh, to some other country, then make sure that uh, you don't require a transit visa for that country. And, uh, it is recommended that you, your connection time is less, otherwise you will uh, have to sleep for like an hour or two uh, uh, for 6 hours or 7 hours on that airport. But uh, it depends. If your transit time, if your connection time is too long, maybe you can you know have a one day visa and hop out of the airport and explore that place also. But uh, it is not uh, recommended because uh, I think most of you will be flying for first time and uh, you know uh, managing that particular time slot that you have in some other transiting country will might be difficult. So, uh, if your transit, uh, if your stopover time is, uh, uh, let's say around 10 hours or 12 hours, uh, you can, uh, you know, visit some other country. Any questions regarding stopover time? Uh, yes, transit? I have yes. stopover time of 17 hours. 17 hours, which uh, port? The Paris. Paris. Okay. So, do I need to get uh, I think you, I think you might. Uh, uh, okay, you have booked your flight tickets. Yeah. So. Uh, you booked it via some website. Sorry. Agent. So uh, agent must be knowing of. Generally, agents know about yes, transit. Yes, yes. Very going first of all. Yes. Oh. Then uh, you don't need a transit visa. You can just sleep in the airport. But no, in case I want to go outside. Yeah. Then you need a you need a proper visa in case you want to go. You, you can. Uh, you can get a one day visa if you are transiting for like 17 hours they will give you a one day visa so maybe you can explore a little bit of Paris, it's not a problem. So where to apply for one day visa? So uh, for that particular visa uh, you will have to apply uh, in the immigration section of that particular airport in your case Paris. So you just say that my stop over time is for is very long, for 17 hours, and uh, I want to see Paris. They will give you a visa. They will just give you a uh, one day to visit. So uh, this is a very exhaustive list of packing. Uh, it is not uh, necessary that you take all these things with you. Uh, but it, uh, the things which are uh, in bold are uh, like recommended. You, I mean, you can consider taking them with you. So, for clothes, uh, yeah, uh, make sure that you uh, carry your jeans, trousers, etc., etc. And yeah, uh, it is re highly recommended that you carry at least one pair of formals with you. Uh, you might have some occasions where uh, you uh, you are invited by the professor to attend some conferences, seminars, etc. So uh, it would be good if you have a, a pair of formals. Uh, needless to say, shoes and your daily stuff. You can just uh, go through the list. I will submit this uh, PPT via Nivedan. Uh, okay, now let's come to food. So if you plan to cook, uh, it is uh, recommended that you carry some uh, Maggi products or MTR packets. But try them. If uh, it, it would be better if you try them over here before taking them with you. So um, yeah, and uh, rice, flour, etc., etc. So. I mean, I don't know much about cooking, but uh, this is an exhaustive list. Uh, okay, uh, regarding cooking vessels, so most of the uh, most of the uh, countries abroad have uh, electrical heating stuff. So you will require a flat bottom vessel, unlike in India where most of the vessels are round bo bottom. So make sure that you, uh, if you are not provided with uh, kitchen utensils uh, uh, at your accommodation, you carry your uh, utensils with you, and they are flat bottom. Uh, and yeah, uh, if you are planning to cook, uh, do make sure that you uh, carry some plastic tiffin boxes. You can buy these products from them of course, but uh, yeah, it will be expensive. So make sure that you carry some uh, containers to carry your food. Uh, if your accommodation is a little bit far from your uh, place of work. Uh, <coughs> for personal cares, uh, care items, uh, make sure that you carry medicines for uh, your allergy, uh, some bandages, uh, you know, general medicine for headache, fever, stomach ache, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, you can go through the list. And uh, yeah, uh, it would be a good idea to. Uh, okay, you can buy this from there definitely, but make sure that you carry uh, some toilet paper rolls because uh, many countries abroad uh, they don't, unfortunately, they don't have hand showers and 
might be a little bit disgusting uh, initially, but yeah, that's how it is. So you will require lots of knowledge. Uh, yeah, for electronic, uh, yeah, so make sure that you carry a, a pin converter charger. So every every country has its, uh, has a, uh, most of the countries have different pins. Uh, so make sure that you have a uh, charger which converts the Indian plug to uh, XYZ country that you're going And, uh, sorry, you can easily get it in any stationary shop. Most of those things are no, 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 you, do, you don't have to worry about it. Most of your adapters are suited for 50 years and 60 years. Uh, yeah, so carry headphones and mic with you in case if you plan to Skype regularly. And uh, um, in the miscellaneous list, make sure that you have your visa, passport and documents in a uh, safe place and make preferably in one folder. Make sure that you carry your credit card and ISIC card. We'll come to ISIC card. Uh, yeah, so you can go through the list. You want me to stop or go over? Okay. So uh, for for echo hunting, uh, it is highly recommended that you talk to uh, the seniors that have been to that place because uh, initially it is very very difficult to search for echo, especially in uh, United States and Canada. So uh, make sure that you talk to seniors. Uh, another good uh, thing would be you take help from the university or company that you are going to. Uh, if you are going to Europe and uh, US, uh, Europe, US or Canada, then uh, do search for accommodations on Craigslist.com. So it is very widely used over there. So uh, uh, on Craigslist, you search for this particular term, uh, sublets and lease. Okay, for uh, short term rent. So you will easily find your accommodation. So what? So the fund of uh, the uh, Craigslist is like it is very similar to eBay. So uh, people who are willing to host international students will uh, post about their house, etc., etc., and you know you can just email them and maybe negotiate the rent, etc. Uh, there is also a very good site Airbnb.com. So uh, you you will find accommodations for famous tourist places like. Paris, New York, Boston, etc. And uh, well, yeah, the echo will be pretty much expensive, but uh, you have assured bed and breakfast service, and it, it will be uh, it will be like you you are part of that family for uh, what wherever you are going to for two or three months. So it's a pretty cool experience. Uh, uh, while uh, while searching for echo, uh, make sure that uh, you are provided with kitchen utensils, and if you are not provided, then you will have to carry a load of utensils with you. So it is highly recommended that uh, at least they are providing you with basic kitchen facilities and utensils and microwave etc. Uh, also ensure that your echo uh, is furnished. It is recommended that your accommodation will be furnished because uh, the, else you will have to buy your uh, sheets and pillows etc. from outside which will be a little bit costly. And uh, do make sure that the utilities are included if they are not included then oh, what are the costs of other utilities like hot water or internet etc. Okay, so these are the things that you should generally keep in mind. Uh, so uh, manual labor costs are very high in abroad. So for example, even if let's say your back chain is broken or you can't fix your lock uh, or you lost your house keys and you have to make a new key, the cost for that will be really very high starting from $20, yeah, 20 US dollars. So you can imagine uh, how much you have to shell out if you you know miss out on these small things. Uh, in general, the people are uh, very friendly, so uh, don't be shocked by this. So I'll tell you my personal experience. So uh, during my week one in Canada, whenever I used to uh, you know uh, stop or uh, stop for a bus or uh, sit uh, stop wait for a bus or for a train, random people used to come and talk to me, sit to me next to uh, sit next to me, and you know generally. They, they, they'll start asking about your family, what do you do, etc. But uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty normal out there. So just don't be, don't get shocked. And yeah, generally the people are very, very polite. So uh, this might be something uh, which you are not used to, but uh, yeah, be polite with them. It will be a nice experience. And uh, also explore all the food options that are available on ca on campus. 
uh, and uh, ensure this beforehand because you will have to plan for your food. So if you don't have uh, good food joints, good vegetarian food joints, if you are a vegetarian, then you might have to carry some vegetarian stuff with you. Especially for people going to Japan, I guess. Uh, for your uh, daily expenses, so yeah, do your homework uh, of how how much money you are going to spend in one one month. It shouldn't happen that uh, you run out of cash. Mostly, this will not happen. But it, it is a it is a good thing to plan your expen uh, expenses. And uh, <coughs> reputation of IIT Bombay is uh, generally very good out there. So uh, make sure that you maintain that. And uh, so. Mostly it, is, it, will, it will not be, for you guys it will not be like, uh, it is a big culture shock to you because uh, most of you are uh, aware about the places that you are going to. Uh, uh, most of the times it is the other way around. If, if people from there are coming to India, they get a culture shock. But uh, it will not be for you guys. So uh, just relax and enjoy. Uh, any questions? Regarding the credit card, uh, so what is your preferred? Uh, what is it recommended in that case? Oh, sorry. Is there any particular card is recommended? Europe. No, US. US. Uh, Just make sure that uh, you. Sorry. There's this issue at the card if I don't pay for. I I think most of the international banks will. Uh, you can carry any credit card with you. Yeah, SBI actually offers Vishwayatra card. So, yeah. SBI has a travel card, Axis Bank has a travel card. You can just, uh, I think you have to pay 200 bucks and you get a, you get the card free. You load money in India in rupees. They give you the best possible <coughs> conversion rate they have. And you can keep withdrawing in dollars. But try not to use that. Try to use a local bank account as far as possible. Uh, jaake create a bank account. <laughs> your prof or your university, your company, whatever, they pay you. You put the money immediately in the local account. You can pay almost everywhere by card. Oh. And this is very important. You do not need to carry much cash because you can pay almost everywhere by card. And which means, and most places they accept local cards. They will not accept the travel card in a lot of places. So go there, create an account. You pay lo local debit card or credit card. Below. Uh, I was told in US you will not be allowed to create a, a bank account unless and until you have a social security number. Yeah. So I'm not sure about the US. I, I, I can I, I, speak I, I, for certainty in Europe. Yeah. Uh, they do provide you with a you know social security number. So uh, you need to submit few documents and they'll give you a temporary social security number in within 15 days and you'll be able to you know open a bank account. There is a transaction charge of 1.5 dollars, I guess, for uh, Europe. So, travel card by transaction, if you withdraw money from ATM, that won't be free. You'll be charged like 100 rupees. So, just uh -huh. And if you use your Indian debit card, you're going to be screwed. Yeah. So, don't, don't even don't think about it. You can just keep it with you as an emergency thing. In case you're really out of cash, so withdraw. Kardu. But there's a transaction charge of 5 dollars or 5 euros every. Yeah, so 1.5 or 5 euro depend on every withdrawal from the ATM. So again, best thing is local account. In France, in Germany, I know this for a fact that, for example, BNP Paribas or Deutsche Bank, you can open an, an account for two months. All you have to do is at the end of the two months, just close the account, withdraw all your money, close the account, you're done. And it's very simple. It'll happen in one day, one day or something. You just go to the bank, you submit your documents, and your uh, your account will be operational within a week. If you are planning to open a bank account, uh, I guess travel card is recommended. That will So for bank account, uh, uh, they will not provide you with any uh, interest. This will be a checking account. Yeah, I, I hope you know that. And uh, yeah, it is a, uh, it is recommended that you open your account and don't carry so much cash with you because uh, if you pay in cash, then you will also uh, generate too much of uh, coin currency with you, which is really really difficult to handle. So uh, just uh, make sure about this with your professor or your company uh, HR. They can do it for you peacefully, and they will uh, assist you for the social security number. 
if you are going to U US and Canada. It's very peaceful. Uh, regarding the ISIC card for uh, the view, uh, is it specifically what is the utility for that? For example, if you are uh, visiting this Louvre Museum Paris, so you'll get, the, I think it's free of cost, like if you have IC, ISIC card, at least we went there free of cost. So for Europe, Janta, it's very useful, but if you are going to Japan and uh, US, I guess it's not that useful. The IC card is recognized everywhere as a valid identity, which means I think it's still worth it, keeping one, keeping the card, it costs 250 rupees, or I don't know how much it costs, but uh, some 350, 400 rupees. But uh, in Europe especially, you, you can check the site. Lots of youth hostels, lots of museums, all over the place, they will give you discounts. Uh, especially in Paris, uh, almost every museum is free or there is a discount if you have an ISIC card. So, uh, it, it is very useful to keep my book. Uh, so, as far as US is concerned, so if you want to open a bank account, you need two valid proofs. So one valid proof is your D DS D six zero DS one six zero form, and the second valid proof is this card. You don't have any other. They don't accept this ID Bombay card, bank card, nothing. You need to produce this card. So uh, for Canada, uh, you get discounts on long travels. Like if you are planning to travel from one state to other. And you'll get discounts uh, if you're planning to visit the Niagara Falls. So that's it. Apart from that, ISSE is pretty useless in Canada. But yeah, it's uh, recommended that you have a student identity card. You can use it anywhere. Yeah. Identity proof. Any other questions? And if you're going to Regarding any uh, card for specifically train travel and all in Europe. So I guess by now you would have known about the Urail Pass. So, uh, the URAIL pass will allow you some fixed number of days of travel within a period of two months. And for example, huh? yeah, so for example, at the start, while you are buying your pass, you can choose the countries which you want to visit. And uh, you can say travel for six days from any anywhere in, anywhere in these countries for six days over a period of two months. And I I think it turns out to be much cheaper because buying point to point tickets, for example, one ticket would cost you about 100 euros to go from any city to in, say uh, this Berlin to Munich will cost you 100 euros and you can basically your URL pass costs you about 350 euros or 400 euros for 10 days of travel, which means you are saving a lot of money in the process. And uh, I think there is there is a very detailed mailer from Antariksh in last year's group. For URL pass. For URL pass. Yeah. So, uh, we can just forward. I think he can just forward it to the current foreign interns of the group. But, and especially if you apply as a group here, a movie mailer. So, you can get a student discount. You First of all, you get a youth discount. And secondly, if a lot of people are applying from IIT Bombay, you can speak to a travel agent, he'll give you a further discount. No, he's not giving he's it. Not he's not giving it. 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 He's not but yeah, there's some discussion going on in group. So, uh, if you're not added to the group, you can just join the group. And there's some discussion going on URL passes, ISIC cards. I think they've probably started. So, there is this lesser, slightly lesser known option called the Eurolines bus, bus service. And I think if you're not planning to travel very long distances, this is a very good idea. Uh, the passes are much cheaper. The buses are also much, they're very comfortable. You can travel very peacefully. Especially if you're plan say you're planning to go from some Switzerland to Austria, it's not much of a distance. You can take a bus, you can just spend the night in the bus, next morning you're there. And uh, tickets are cheaper, I think tickets are 15-20 euro for you. With the pass, it become, the passes are uh, 100 euros for 15 days of travel, which is much cheaper than the URL pass. So you can just try out, you can just explore this option if you want to. Uh, by the way, the URA pass covers 
selected. So some buses, some ferries, and all that. Into Germany, I guess. Uh, Lots of all the uh, okay, so uh, for local travel, uh, it is recommended that uh, you buy a monthly pass if your accommodation is very far. Otherwise, you can buy a strip of 10 tickets, uh, like 3 strips for 1 month or 2 strips for 1 month as per your requirement. And if you plan to travel long distance, uh, so you can go via this uh, Greyhound bus service. I, there is one more bus service, I don't remember the name, but yeah, Greyhound is like the best in Canada. And yeah, they do give discounts if you have ISIC card. So just check out for Greyhound bus service. And uh, flight tickets and uh, rail tickets are very expensive. So it is recommended that uh, if you plan to travel like, to the next nearby state, then uh, go via so uh, flight tickets you can you can try out Ryanair or one of those very low cost airlines but I wouldn't recommend them because first of all uh, they don't land in the main airport in the city for example there is if the city has two airports they will always choose the smaller airport which will be in some far away corner of the city reaching there is a big problem you have to check in before you before you land up at the airport otherwise they charge you 50 euros extra they charge you insane amounts for baggages, they charge you for food, everything. So, it is not the most, it is by far the least comfortable way of travel. But, okay, you want to go long distances, I think it's the best way. Like, from, from Germany, you want to go to Spain or Italy or something. I would recommend that you don't do that. But, if you want to do it, you can, you can choose Ryanair or there are lots of these, uh, Viz, W Y Z Z and stuff like that. This is site called skyscanner.co.in, I skyscanner.com, which allows you the cheapest, cheapest fares and you'll get very reasonable tickets. And it's probably better than Yatra or Make My Trip and all that. As far as, as far as within the city travel goes, bicycle, if it's a small city, Definitely you rent a bicycle, you try to Jugado one from the university or something or uh, otherwise you get bus passes, you get train passes, again all of them have youth discounts and by, by the, their youth ka definition is below 26 so. <laughs> so you will get the youth discounts, uh, if you buy monthly passes it works out to be much much cheaper than buying point to point tickets. Again, so try to go there. The first thing you do is buy a monthly pass for your city. Uh, for example, if you are in the if you are in the northwest German region, the pass doesn't just cover one city. It covers a whole range of cities from Dortmund, Düsseldorf, Cologne. All of them they have just one season ticket. You can travel to any of these places uh, with 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 the same season ticket, which which makes it much much cheaper to you know use to explore all these options and uh, yeah mm -hmm. uh, you know if you are visiting in groups let's say 5 or 6 you will get this uh, weekend regional pass that is like 30 euros for 5 people and you can visit all the uh, nearby areas that is pretty cheap and uh, like how many of you are going to Japan? so in Japan there is like similar to Eurail pass there is Japan Rail pass, JR pass so if you don't want to go too much, then there is no much utility of that. Local tickets go and then just visit. So Japan will pass the website check and it's not as beneficial as Ural pass. Also, different places have different years. For example, if you are visiting Paris, try to visit in the weekend because the I mean the season ticket, the day ticket in Paris is some 10 euros for some particular zone. Weekend pay you get a youth discount, it will become 4 euros. And random offers like these keep coming. And uh, you can see that reduction, especially when you are travelling in a group of 5 and 6. Uh, it will lead up to a significant saving. The museums will become cheaper suddenly.
बट इधर भी सब इट्स ऑल देर ऑनलाइन थोड़ा गूगल कर दो वेयर विच ऑफर इज देर एंड इफ यू कैन मैक्सिमाइज योर मैक्सिमाइज योर एंजॉयमेंट एंड कीप योर कॉस अंडर कंट्रोल इट्स वेरी गुड I'd like to share some of my experiences. Like you know, uh, this is an issue which actually uh, happened to crop up in my case. Uh, I got my visa, I guess, a week before I was traveling, and then uh, I happened to check the dates of my visa. It just said 60 days, whereas uh, I actually applied for a short stay, which is 90 days. And then it occurred to me as an you know 60 days, and obviously then the you don't they don't allow you to go again to the airport because you can't stay more beyond 60 days. And this is actually a typo error by the visa people. So you, as soon as you get your visa, you go make sure things are right on the visa. Things whatever printed, whatever visa you are applying for, whatever countries you are eligible for. And uh, how many of you are going for Europe here? Uh, France. Okay, I'll, maybe I'll get back to you sometime after this session. This is the most important thing. Remember that France is not covered in the select URL ka pass anymore from this year. So if you're planning, please. If, so you have to buy a global pass, which is very costly and quite pointless, in my opinion. So try to avoid France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so carpooling is a very good option. I think a couple of friends of mine have done it. So you can you can just. Carpool, you can if you can drive. You have a valid. Your Indian driver's license is much, pretty much valid there. So all you have to do share share the driving responsibilities, and you can you can reach from one point to another in I think seven eight hours. For example, I had friends in Aachen, which is on the west western part of Germany, and they had they had rented they had rented a car and they were carpooling and they reached Paris. And it works out again to be much cheaper. All you have to do is pay for the petrol and for the rent of the car, which is significantly cheaper than the the train or flights or anything. Uh, so yeah, if you know driving very well, you can do this in uh, US and Canada also. If you are about 21, uh, I think if you are about 19, you can rent a car. Uh, but yeah, you can't take uh, that car out of that particular state if you are not about 21. So. Yeah, it is a very good and uh, I think it's the cheapest option. The fuel rates are also very low over there. Just remember, it's not the same drive as in you have to drive on the other side, you have to turn on the other side. And, and you have to follow the. You cannot break a signal. You cannot. If there's a pedestrian crossing, you have to wait and stuff like that. So, car driving there is much more disciplined and obviously the the. Driving pattern itself. You will have to drive on the left hand side instead of the right. Yeah, <coughs> everything will be mirror, the mirror image. So, us soch ke if you can still adjust to it, it doesn't take much time. You need like couple of drives to get adjusted to it, and uske baad you'll find it difficult after coming back here. <laughs> so, uh, I share a personal experience with you. We rented a SUV. तो पता नहीं कहाँ से एक छोटा सा स्क्रैच आ गया। We needed to pay you know five hundred dollars for that scratch. So ये बात क्या है मेरा? मतलब you take charge your lot. So कभी भी अगर कार रेंट कर रहे हो तो make sure that you also take insurance with that. The car car providing company will also insist you to buy an insurance that will be for like another fifty to hundred dollars. But Fifty dollars, fifty to hundred dollars per day, depending on the state. So uh, yeah, make sure, and it is uh, not at all recommended if you don't know if you are an amateur driver or if you don't know driving. वहाँ पे जाके हीरो बनने के लिए गाड़ी मत चलाना. It's very, very dangerous. So, any other questions? Any visa related issues? Like all of you have got your visas? Visa, travel, oh. passport. Actually, I have a very specific visa-related issue. Uh, so, US visa, uh, I was issued uh, Section 221G and I was refused the visa. So, has anyone else been uh, uh, through this, or do you know anyone else who has been through this ordeal? It's actually very painful. It's been like a month already. Nothing happened. 
anyone is there we can like meet up after the what session this section say uh, what this is, is uh, some section 221 g of the immigration nationality act which says uh, they cannot process your uh, visa uh, during the interview and they need additional information so they ask for additional documents which are submitted like in two days after the interview and uh, still i did not hear back from them what was your project related to uh it was related to charge transfer in dna but i did not say anything like dna at all i just kept it very simple <laughs> i said macromolecules uh, if they feel that your project in any sense huh? can you know be uh, threatening to their country then definitely it not yeah, i i know about that da list at all yeah one more thing is that technology alert list so if anyone is applying for us visa look that up So, uh, people applying for a US visa, I think we'll be uh, eligible for uh, the two-year homestay requirement. So you can get a waiver. Yeah, you yeah, can give the waiver afterwards, but generally, happens that if you apply for a given visa, you might be eligible for the uh, for the two-year homestay requirement. But you can cross that. I, I asked yeah. many people; they got yeah. a two-year, and that, that is not a problem in general. People went in second year with a two-year, and then went in third year also. <laughs> so it's. It's very common for J1 guys to get a two-year too. No, that is only for you know if you are applying for a uh, even a waiver. Sorry, yeah, waiver yeah. in three years. Obtained only if you are applying for a you know. Plan two. Go and get a job. Uh, after two years. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah.
but my visa expires on 15 so do i need another no, no, no. Uh, so same thing happened with me mostly uh, uh, leave canada yeah you have to leave canada yeah i'll leave canada on 15 but i'll go through london and london i'll reach 16 so yeah that will not be a problem same for germany yeah, 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 it's not a problem. Is there anyone UK? Do you have any specific questions? Very specific. So I hope that all of you have, uh, all of you have applied for your uh, travel insurance. Doesn't take much time, but uh, make sure that you have your travel and health insurance with you while tra uh, traveling abroad. Uh, any questions related to uh, travel, travel and health insurance? This is the most suitable. Yes. So I think Tata AIG gives the uh, best deal. So I think yeah, most of most of the people from IIT Bombay apply for Tata AIG travel insurance. Any other uh, any questions? Uh, Please get health insurance. You will, you will not be able to pay in the hospital because they are very, very costly. And uh, usually your insurance your insurance will sponsor any amount above a certain amount. But the, if you have a minor injury, they might not sponsor you. Uh, if you are spending more than 100 euros or 100 dollars or some lower cap they have, they will pay the extra amount. So just keep that in mind. I mean, if you I mean, while buying the insurance also. Try to negotiate for a lower cap. So that, uh, you know, even if you fall sick and you have to go, you have to just get some medicine. Uh, you, again, your insurance, you would want your insurance to cover that, right? So, wo, wo bhi dhyan se while buying the while buying the insurance policy. So, for US and Canada, if, uh, if you go to visit a doctor, so the visiting charges start from $140 per visit and the um, uh, med medicine charges will be uh, around like $20, $30 so it's super expensive. So make sure that all of you have your travel insurance and uh, make sure that you select your plan accordingly. So like there are various grades of insurances, they might, some insurances might cover minor injuries etc. So just... In, in Europe, you will not be allowed to travel uh, if you don't have a travel, uh, travel and health insurance. So, I hope you know that. Any other questions? Any specific questions? Spend the nights while visiting different places. So as far as as far as uh, travel to different places, say you're going to a different city, I think the best possible way is to go to a youth hostel. The youth hostel accommodation is cheap, be like 10, 12, to 10 to 20 euros, something between that. Ideally near 10, 10 euros per night, which is very reasonable considering you're going. I mean, you get a bed, you get sheets, you get a basic uh, bathroom sort of facility. I, all you have to do is share a room with other people, which is okay. And uh, please do not sleep on the platform and try to cheapen out there. I'm, I'm very serious. There's a friend of mine who, uh, who had come from Kharagpur, thought he was too smart, slept on the platform in Paris, got robbed, lost his passport, lost his wallet, lost pretty much every document he had. And he was staying in Switzerland, so he couldn't travel back to Switzerland without his documents, which which puts him in a which put him in a huge problem there. Which and again, it's completely unnecessary. You can I think you can afford to spend a bit of money and you know, don't try not to pull off these see these sort of stunts. I mean, the place is safer than India, but it is not that safe, especially if you go to Italy or if you go to Paris. The places are not safe. Not by a long shot. So, uh, yeah, uh, hostels, or if you can, uh, this is again, you can try to lodge with other interns. Say you're going to Berlin and you know somebody who's staying there. Uh, you can just crash in with that person. That that'll save you a lot of money in the process, and you get to 
meet somebody you know you know and who can pro pro probably tour tour you in guide you in the city itself so yeah that's that is your first choice i think if not you can book hostels but just remember that uh, hostels they fill up fast because there's a lot of demand for them and this is this is very specific to europe i don't know how it works in the us but for you, uh, us and canada specifically canada uh, there are lots of students uh, uh, going through the my tax program and they have their own fancy accommodation so you can always crash at that place and stay it's not a big issue so uh, i am couch surfing uh, you can do that in canada I, i'm not very sure how safe is that uh, in europe or uh, us but in canada it's pretty safe and it's uh, very cheap like uh, 10 to 20 dollars per night You can do that, but at your own risk. Any other questions? Well, you have this issue of when you are traveling abroad, right? Uh, luggage not uh, coming along on time. So basically, uh, don't panic. Then it will, you can just uh, call the uh, airport agencies, and you will get them in a couple of days back. But definitely, you, once you have this luggage is not coming, the same flight, uh, you tend to panic. One of my friends said like. Uh, for two days, three days, I think a week. It took her a pretty long time for her to get her stuff back. So that issue will be there. Some one, I guess, one or two over here will have that trouble. Just coming, just coming. One second, I'll just finish. Just coming back to the echo thing. Uh, another thing you can do to save on the echo is travel in the night. So the trains are pretty comfy. and uh, especially if you get a sleeper sleeper train like a night train or something you can travel pe uh, very peacefully from one city to the other sleep on the train trains are safer than sleeping on the platform also and uh, so night trains you have to pay a surcharge over and above your pass some 20 euros or something but again they'll give you a blanket they'll give you a pillow they'll basically it's very comfortable sleep better than most uh, most hostels so that is one way you can save on you know you can get you get get some travel done while you are sleeping yeah. how to be then count a day in the red pass like i leave at 7 pm so uh, you count a day the urel pass uh, the day starts at i mean the day starts at 7 pm say today it would have started only if you continue your journey into the next day otherwise uh, it's one one day as in say today is the today is the 12th and uh, i can travel any amount any amount i want on the 12th so if i if i take three trains one is reaching at 6 o'clock in the morning you take a connecting train and you take another connected train which is it's all fine any amount of travel in one day is still it still counts as just 24 hours and uh, what they have also allowed you to do is you can start your journey on 7 at 7 pm the previous day provided it continues into the next day and you can sort of club it into this 24 hour thing for example if you are taking a night train which starts at 8 o'clock in the night and reaches at 8 am the next morning you can just after the after that train journey you can go on a couple more train journeys and or count it just as one day on the pass and depending on what pass you are getting you have 5 days or 6 days or 10 8 5 6 8 10 10 days of these type and you can choose the countries you want to travel to again your pass is priced accordingly and uh ha huh, so one thing in the euroid pass is that if you are traveling from one country to another any country which lies on the route has to be on the pass otherwise you have to pay the amount that amount for example you are traveling from germany to italy you have to have switzerland on the way as in you have to have switzerland in your eurail pass otherwise you will have to pay the amount uh, of the travel from uh, within switzerland which is very costly so uh, just just try to travel only to your neighboring countries as far as possible don't attempt huge journeys from berlin to uh, madrid or something you can do that <laughs> because it's stupid because the journey itself will take 24 hours or so you'll have to change four five trains and and in the process you're going to lose 
से वन वर्किंग डे और वन वेरी नाइस हॉलीडे विच यू कुड़ यू नो स्पेंड गोइंग टू अनदर सम अदर सिटी तो तो ट्राई टू प्लान योर जर्नी ट्राई टू प्लान योर ट्रैवल एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल मतलब यहाँ पे यू कैन बुक इट ऑनलाइन हॉस्टल बुकर्स और वर्ड मैं देर आर कपल ऑफ सॉरी हॉस्टल वर्ल्ड हॉस्टल बुकर्स एंड यू कैन इवन रिजर्व फॉर द यूरेन पास पाई दाई द यूरेन पास नीड्स रिजर्वेशन सो इफ यू आर ट्रैवलिंग ऑन एनी हाई स्पीड ट्रेन लाइक द जर्मनी इंटरसिटी एक्सप्रेस और द फ्रांस टी जी वी और the similar things in switzerland and italy you need to reserve your uh, your ticket beforehand only then you will you be assured a seat so again those reservations will fast to pehle hi karke rakh do and uh, any other questions related to sim card sorry transit visa transit visa yeah so what about it ओके सो सो लाइक व्हाट इज योर योर कनेक्शन टाइम माय फ्लाइट टू टू एंड आई आई सेड दैट दैट फॉर वन डे सी यस इन यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इमिग्रेंट्स इन कार्ड्स यू हैव कंपनीज लाइक लेबारा एंड लाइका एंड और रैंडम स्टफ uh they allow you to call to india at 1 cent per minute this is very very cheap 1 cent per minute is 6 matlab 60 paise per minute and international call but their local calls are high so you have to prioritize you get sim cards you get sim cards from o2 and the regular companies which allow you cheap local calls cheap sms but international calls will be very costly what about you uh you can are you dual sim why do you need a dual sim <laughs> you you barely be making any calls in the first place i hope you don't make that many calls to <laughs> india so uh, what about the us for about the us canada no about us uh us and canada have pretty different system but uh, for canada uh, i think the uh, charter is uh, charter gives the best plan for, uh, plans for uh, 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 free calling from Can uh, within canada uh, i don't know about the international plans there they are pretty expensive but if you plan to uh, call from canada uh, call within canada uh, charter charter plans are very good chat r chat i think uh, everyone should check their phones if they are you know, will be compatible with the packages or outside some points are like i had to put in they want to work and then इंटरनेट कनेक्शन ऑन योर फोन इफ यूर ट्रेवलिंग समवेयर यू माइट नीड गूगल मैप्स यू माइट नीड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ मैप सर्विस और गूगल बेसिक गूगल एंड यू कैन इफ यू गेट एन इंटरनेट कनेक्शन यू कैन कॉल यूजिंग स्काई which is much much cheaper than any of the options you have right now so the cheapest way is to get a get a network get a network with the best possible internet connection as in say you get a 1 gb thing for a month and you can manage within that you can call via skype you can call back home via skype so international calls are cheap uh, you can call uh, you can make local calls for cheap you get basically you have internet connection so you can use google maps you can use any service you want on your phones and uh, huh, there are lots of schemes for example o2 i know of the scheme of o2 which gives you call calling at 3 cents or 2 cents per minute in europe in, in different countries and uh, also if you are traveling from country to country just look at the roaming charges this is especially in europe so uh there is see the the local cards work at least in the neighboring countries the international cards like lebara and laika and all that they will give you a huge roaming charge like 30 cents per minute suddenly you will suddenly find that you have run out of battery because you got an incoming message uh, run out of balance because you got an incoming message so 
वो सब ध्यान से देख के खरीदो चावल चावल एनीथिंग अबाउट सिंगापुर सो आई हैव बीन टू सिंगापुर सो इट इज अ क्वेश्चन आर यू वेजिटेरियन ओके सो यू आर गोइंग टू अ यूनिवर्सिटी या सो मोस्टली दे विल हैव वेजिटेरियन फूड कोर्स इन एनीवेस बट यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू सम अदर स्टेशंस देन या दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज वेजिटेरियन यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दैट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू जापान देन देयर इज अ वेबसाइट indobazaar.com जहां पे यू विल गेट एवरीथिंग यू गेट इन इंडिया लाइक पापड़ अच्छा एवरीथिंग इन फैक्ट यू विल गेट रोटीज बट इवन देन यू कैन यू नो एवरीथिंग यू विल गेट एवरीथिंग indobazaar.com एंड दे डू होम डिलीवरी एज वेल यू नीड नॉट वरी अबाउट वेजिटेरियन फूड इन यूएस एंड कनाडा लाइक यू विल गेट लॉट्स ऑफ वेजिटेरियन ऑप्शन यू यू विल इवन गेट जैन फूड सो डोंट वरी यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर ट्रैवलिंग यू कैन बुक ऑनलाइन दैट इज लाइक नॉट वेरी कॉस्टली बट आई वुड से देर आर पैकेजेस लाइक इफ यू आर यूजिंग दिस शिमकान से ड्रीम बुलेट ट्रेन तो लाइक इफ यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम टोक्यो टू ओसाका तो देर इज अ पैकेज दैट वॉज एवरीथिंग